Why the Witcher? Oh man. Uh, I think I fell I fell in love with Witcher in 2016, or I'm sorry, 2015 when Witcher 3 came out. And I was just in love with the lore since then. So that was a, a, a big part of it. And Batman's always been a part of me too. So the, the two of those together was just it was destiny. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I've always felt like uh that I guess that idea of Batman and Butcher and basically a whole bunch of other characters that are just loving to just brood by themselves and adopting little children to actually fight in their crusade has yeah. been like a bear wolf and cub yeah. kind of situation. <laughs> and um uh, oh is this uh like in that oh is this are you imagining that siri and robin would actually join the fight in later scripts or <laughs> no no the 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 reason why a series brought up was is because in and um one of the ending sequences uh the witcher 3 game she speaks of of she she went on a planet where there was flying cars and people with metal on their heads and i think that was from a um a video game insider peak of projects the cd project red leading to their cyberpunk game but i took that as just like a perfect segue into the a little nod to the Witcher game, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, when they actually are like, I guess, in this conversation with each other, are you actually trying to show like levels of Batman versus the Witcher? Because obviously Batman is all about prep time. And the Witcher is just, you know, he just carries all of his tools with him, no matter what, you know, he can't exactly go back you know, to his brethren and just hoard everything and go back again. Like he's literally in a fight with all of his potions on his belt. So like, I guess in your head, like what are you imagining? Like how, how do these guys actually take on each other and why is Batman just, you know, uh, facing this guy head on already? Yeah, so um, Geralt's going to be ready no matter what. Geralt is going to be all emotion and brutality and, and taking things as they come. Batman is going to be the designer, the planner, the executioner, step by step. He's going to have it completely calculated out no matter what the situation is. But Geralt is so tough because he can roll with a person that is against that as well so the two of those meeting is almost like it's it's going to be a draw no matter what they have the ultimate tactician versus the ultimate planner and that's that's what you're going to get a stalemate okay okay um which is really awkward because like Geralt actually drinks a potion to actually gain more magical powers uh-huh which makes him totally unstoppable, practically. But here it is, Batman, completely mortal, and all he has is just a lot of money and baby trauma. Yeah. And you're telling me that they're going to be level. So that's that's an interesting toss. I would actually roll, uh, roll dice for that one. <laughs> um, in that, Osis, uh, how long have you been a Batman fan? I know everybody. Uh, yeah, 89. 89 is when we're probably stuck in with a lot of people with the uh the Tim Burton Batman. Okay, okay. And in that, oh, this is that the Batman that you're imagining <clears throat> in this fight? I know there's like so many of the lore now. No, no, no. I think I think I would I would lean more towards uh comic book uh look aesthetically. Aesthetically? Yeah. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and actually like go uh, so dig in further. Are you thinking like year one Batman? Are we thinking like Arthur Miller Batman? Which comic book are you talking about? Uh, I'd lean more towards like an Alex Ross. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's awesome. In that, oh, is this uh, what's it called? In I guess the 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 world that you're actually bringing both in. How do you think the butcher is going to do a fair with, you know, with the modern realm? I mean, like, 
I'm, I'm just imagining what else you have in mind here because like it's just no it, no this yeah. no this was more just like a one-off this isn't a design to be like a like a giant a, a experience between a mix of worlds it was supposed to be a, just a fun exercise with of two iconic characters meeting i don't there wasn't really anything beyond that no no oh, okay. no no okay yeah 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 it was just it was just intended to be like a, a a, a, a nice exercise to to stretch two worlds. That was it. There wasn't anything else besides that lined up or anything. Wonderful. Um, I'd like to actually open question to uh, anybody available. So that's Superman at the end, right? Um, <laughs> let's say Doctor Manhattan was probably closer to it. Oh, <laughs> dang! We got the triple cross. Okay, this just got wilder. <laughs> so okay now that's my my question it was like are we literally just uh, allowing personalities to just cross in this one is, is that what the well it, it's fiction so why not you know it's like just you, you can throw whatever you want into because it's it, it's okay it's it's all, it's all make-believe you know so okay. it's just if 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 for aesthetic purposes this feels like if I saw this movie theater, if I saw this short film in a theater, I would lose my mind. And that's that's the reaction that I wanted to. It's just like, oh my God, what what can happen next? And that's it. It's it's the joy of the imagination just 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 going out. That's it. That's a nice segue into a question from the audience from Faith Jacobs, who asks, Would you ever consider turning this into a short, live or animated? I would love to see someone do it. I I I don't have <laughs> have the means to do it, but I think it would be amazing if someone could could make it. Absolutely, yeah. Okay. Well, it was a lovely script. Uh, I felt like the exercise was amazing with uh, just the two characters. I found like there was a lot of challenge in uh, trying to differentiate Geralt versus Batman. Mm -hmm. Obviously, two brooding characters prep time available and um yeah just just uh just an interesting mix to the yeah, whole uh, yeah. fantasy of it all so thank you for the opportunity it was amazing to hear it uh thank you for everyone involved thank you a lot of course of course oh yeah man we were talking about it in rehearsal how we're like oh robin and siri are gonna fight in the sequel <laughs> so we yeah. love it. thanks for letting oh. us have yeah. it <laughs> and Jordan and I were competing for who could get more bass and more whispery. Yeah, I even went out with the girl, the girl look. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Except sides reversed. Oh, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last minute. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, are you going to be writing more scripts like this? Or was that just a one off uh, exercise? It was a cool exercise, but I, I'm, I'm focusing on more of the. Um, uh my my own stuff now so i've got the the um teaser for the next uh, movie coming out on uh, tomorrow and i'm looking forward to sharing it yeah you can find more at jay jinx films <laughs>